Hi everybody, Brian Davis here with Danny Davis at FedEx Field where Texas, not the best season opener. Lose to the Maryland Terrapins 34 to 29. Same as it was last season it looked like to me. Although Danny, Tom Herman said it wasn't like last season because he thinks this team is better than last year. What do you think? I mean, I guess this this year wasn't as much of a shock. I mean, last year was shocking. It was jarring, you know, it was a new era. Everyone was excited. I think still people thought Texas was going to win this game. Absolutely. I think more people were realistic that all those points that Vegas was given the Longhorns is a little bit silly, but I think all of us picked Texas. I think all of us expected it and once again, um that was a that was a gut punch. That was a that was surprising. No doubt. Texas fell into a 17-point hole, climbed its way out of it when they finally went to an up-tempo offense in the second quarter. I thought that was really good. The two big plays to Colin Johnson, one on a fade route and another that set up Kyle Porter's touchdown, that put Texas back in the lead, and things were looking pretty good at that point. Yeah, they had so they had some moments. Unfortunately, um, as we saw a lot last season, turnovers did them in late. The fourth quarter was a uh, pretty big disaster I mean there were some bright spots when the defense kept getting them the football back but after that rain delay it was just a lot of turnovers and uh, Texas just could not get that last touchdown that they needed even though they kept having opportunities after opportunities and it was just another another disappointing finish for these long words absolutely a rain delay that went an hour and 26 minutes that was after Maryland had taken a 31 29 lead so an hour and a half in the locker room Texas came out with about 14 minutes left in the game we were finally going to see if this team knew how to finish that's all Tom Herman had talked about during the offseason and they couldn't do it three turnovers back to back to back on the final three possessions of the game but Danny you know fans are going to zero in on Sam Ellinger's two picks yeah and you know that's the beauty of being the quarterback position you know <laughs> right. you get all the praise uh, you know uh, you know when you win there's a reason why Colt and Vince's uh jerseys are retired even though they weren't um, the only players on those teams but you know you get praised when you win you get uh, shamed when you lose and uh, Sam's got to take this one made some uh, mistakes uh, uh, granted you know he's hit on one of those interceptions and the last one he was just trying to make a play in the last couple of minutes not his worst throws here at Texas but not his best and you know he's going to learn from it and move on it doesn't look like a uh, Tom Herman kind of you know, shoot, shoot a question about whether or not they go to Shane Bouchel right. in the Tulsa game. So it looks like Sam's going to be the guy next week, but he's going to have to get better because uh, those mistakes are they, they're 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 piling up. No, no, no doubt, no doubt. Devontae Davis is hurt. Brandon Jones is hurt. Gary Johnson was ejected and will miss some of the Tulsa game uh, next week. So check back with Hook'em.com on Monday to find out about the injuries. Uh, but I guess that's to kind of wrap it up. To Danny, zero and one. Big thoughts. What do you think? Yeah, first of all, a little correction, Gary Johnson will not miss the game because he was ejected in the first That's half, right. so he, he's good. But He'll play some of that. Over, overall, um, you know, overall, this is just not a good start to the, the season. They're going to need to rebat, rebound against a bad Tulsa team next week, but you know, this Maryland team wasn't good either, and Texas lost that game, so can't take anything for granted before the USC game, but Texas has got to get it figured out because uh, this is not Texas football, or at least what the fans expect, so... Uh, no, oh well, my trip wasn't ruined. This was a good trip for me. <laughs> this was not, a, some, not so much for the Longhorns. This was a good trip for us. So that's going to wrap it up here at FedEx Field. Uh, once again, Texas suffers a tough one today, 34 to 29 against the Maryland Terrapins. Uh, again, here at FedEx Field. So for Danny, I'm Brian. Catch everything on Hook'em.com, and we'll see you later.